from the outdoor that has appeared in Hardbart, Business Week, TechCrunch, Venture Beat, and Giga Om. It's Larry Chiang. Lecture 2 CS183E is the treasure lecture. Treasure in the form of debt instruments, treasure in the form of revenue, treasure in the form of code, computer code. Treasure also comes in the form of duck chapter 9 bankruptcy. Hashtag duck, grab a pen, duck ch9 bk. So these are all things that help uh, us as CS majors do editing is different forms of treasure where we're creatively coming up with forms of treasure that the original founders did not find. Lillian Rizzo quoting Judge Shannon talks about how all of my debtors, all the people that declared bankruptcy are all above average. Does above average sound familiar to you? It should because everybody who gets into YC is way above average, way high IQ. That in and of itself is a form of danger and editing that 288 IQ person who's not super focused and can easily get distracted by the lure of getting recruited to Stanford or Harvard or your backup's MIT Sloan School of Management, that's attractive and that's what you're, we're all editing on. We're talking about literally outlandish things inside of Treasure because Treasure's laying around everywhere all around us. Uh, we sometimes don't see it. Here's a piece of Treasure, grab a pen, uh, Stram GT353. It's a search fund textbook I found one for under $350, which is full list. Guess what the price is? $2. Not even joking. Uh, Professor Grausbeck, G-R-O-U-S-B-E-C-K, SRAM GT353, business school class. Uh, that textbook is $2, and page uh, 656 is a incredibly awesome nugget of treasure. Treasure equals code, plus revenue. That's the main chunk of treasure that your search fund of zero dollars, normally a search fund is two million to twenty million dollars, you go buy a company. You don't need that. You can just edit. You can edit for zero dollars. You get your code, which you'll be providing, or you can copy paste it, which is lecture three, copy pasting legally, and you do an external API, hashtag external API, along with your ability to get a little bit of revenue doing CS1 protocol, hashtag CS183S. Founder, you get attached to the thing that you made. You want to sell uh, or you want the thing that you made to just go viral. Oh, let's hope, hope that we go viral. We're not going viral. We are actually going to attach that junk thing that we're editing and we're going to edit in an external API. So something that's valid, that solves a problem, maybe somebody else coded, and an, it's an application protocol interface that is external. That form of code is a chunk of treasure. And that's what we're searching for, is we're searching for the, the trash heap, which we're currently working on, DJ to an API of something that works, and we're duct taping it together in a hashtag external API. Great about Treasure is Treasure increases our time to execute. It's like hitting a video game time extension where you get a time extension from Game Over. What is exactly Game Over in Startupville? It is ABC, Assignment for Benefit of Creditors. What is Game Over? Game Over is declaring bankruptcy or quitting. What is Game Over? Duck CH9BK, where you decide to go to grad school and you exactly no grad school for us. We hate grad school. We want to learn what's in grad school. We want to actually go to grad school. Exactly, Brady. You go get them. Assignment for benefit of creditors. This is a large high flying company called OnLive, O N L I V E, uh, downtown Palo Alto at 151 Linton Street. Don't ask me how I remember this stuff. It's creepier though, right? 
Andreessen Horowitz funded them, they shut it down and did an assignment for benefit of creditors. These types of uh, nuances in and between your startup becoming massively successful or going bankrupt is a smidge of a difference. We are getting involved right at the smidge, right at the trough of sorrow. That's what CS183E lectures one through 20 about. And lecture two, Treasure, is about that. It's about delaying having to do an ABC. How there's an incredibly fine line between bankruptcy and success. One of his partners, Ben, talks about the hard thing about the hard things. There's also a deleted tweet. I study this stuff. There's a deleted tweet from Chris Dixon that talks about corporate governance as it relates to assignment for benefit of creditors. Set that all technical legal jargon aside, what's critical is to realize that just because the startup that we are currently editing teetered on bankruptcy, now is facing a full mutiny, just because of those things does not make their original idea any less awesome. In fact, it's probably more awesome now that they've left it because once you get that IV baggage and you just drop anchor and then you cut that anchor, we can actually uh, jettison and kit escape velocity. For governance, uh, prepack ABC, these are all forms, specialized forms of bankruptcy. And we're avoiding bankruptcy. So know that a prepack ABC is prepackaged assignment for benefit of creditors. This is all backdrop knowledge. You don't need to actually know this. Assignment for benefit of creditors is a specialized form of startup bankruptcy where you're prepackaging up assets for specific sale, oftentimes back to one of the founders. That's why the slide of let's polish up our turds and get super rich, that's actually a rabbit hole of awesome because if you're one of the founders and decides to not run around like a chicken with its head cut off, you actually have a shot. Actually stuff that's hardly ever talked about, it's what they will never teach you at Stanford Law, it's stuff that they will never, still don't teach you at Stanford Business School, which is avoiding prepack ABCs, or even doing a prepack ABC. Silicon Valley relies on the come, meaning when it's exploding, uh, joining a parade versus starting a parade. That's what VCs say. What CS183E is, is after the parade has died, or died down, or is at a little standstill, restarting that parade. That's the, the, that's the effort that you guys are doing right now under Treasure. Congratulations on making it this far into lecture two. Silicon Valley never loves the word bankruptcy. It is fearful of it. And Silicon Valley assets, when they do decide to go under the YC, they don't even declare bankruptcy because the thing that they've created in and of itself is literally worthless. Think about it. Millions of dollars become not just have a liquidation price, which is what a bankruptcy is, is a liquidation sale. There's nothing to collect. It is literally nothing. That's why CS183E works, because people aren't necessarily clamoring for the residual assets that normally happen in a fire sale. You got airplanes, when the airline goes bankrupt, you've got you know, land. There's none of that. There's none of those assets. That's why CS183 works because no one else is working on it. Actually an association of corporate directors, and that's what NACD BLC as a conference is meant to do, is to help people who are on boards. I sit on a ton of boards, and from that, you must realize that the bankruptcy issue is where a lot of negligence happens. Uh, getting from zero sales to some sales is a journey that almost no companies that are venture funded make. Let me repeat that. Most venture funded companies literally should be going bankrupt because they actually never get dollar number one in sales, especially if these CS majors never took CS183S. To pay attention to Constellation brands, the people that have Twinkie, Ding Dong, Hostess, they went bankrupt. The PE firm that bought those brands got a 7x return because they turned it around. And how did they turn around? They did one thing, one thing, distribution. That's it. 
They just focused on distribution. That's what CS1E3E's conclusion is. And if you've concluded or summarized anything from lecture one and two, and that is this, get distribution for the thing that you're editing. That's why every homework from here on out from CS183E lectures 2 through 20 will have some kind of distribution component to it, which is a CS183S. Board level, there's NACD, BLC for corporate, gov corporate directors, and then there's Opal Financial Group, Public Funds, Summit East. You should be scared that I can remember Hashtag OFGPFSE, Opal Financial Group Public Fund Summit East. That's because all these boards, all these board members, they're literally focused on doing editing. And I've been able to boil down the best protocols for editing into this CS183E series, which is right now Lecture 2, Treasure Management. VCs will say this, oh, at that startup, the wagon wheels completely came off. It means uh, full mutiny, founders have quit, nothing's going in the right direction, it's probably going to grind to a halt. Wagon wheels have come off. Technically, it's the two bicycle wheels were never functioning or ever became functioning in the first place. This is the bicycle wheel. It's... Uh, Two lectures inside of CS183S, as in sales. Lecture five and lecture seven, which is the bicycle wheel, which is pictured right here, is no need and no trust, therefore no momentum. So that's how distribution and treasure apply here because you're solving no need, no trust, lectures five and seven from CS183 sales. You gotta tell me when my hair's all messed up. I take no time doing it, I just choom in the morning go. This is your homework for CS183E Lecture 2 should you decide to do the optional homework. You'll be editing a credit report. It's one of the easiest 15-step things to do ever. Experian FX TransUnion, they'll hand you a credit report and there's going to be something that's legitimately derogatory about said credit report. You can do an LOE, a letter of explanation, and it requires knowing this for protocols, PO Box 105-281, PO Box 470-256, PO Box 4500, PO Box 1000. That's all under 105-281. Homework number two, homework number two. Write this bit.ly down, bit.ly, bit.ly slash buster, B as in boy, U-S-T-E-R, bit.ly buster 145-12, W as in Wharton, bit.ly, buster, 145, 12, W as in Wharton. Write down that bit.ly, watch that video, and tell me how that video applies to getting distribution. That's CS183E Lecture 2 homework. It's optional.